Hi, boys and girls. This is lesson two. It's all about feeding your bearded dragon and what not to feed your bearded dragon. Okay, um, this is a list of food that is toxic to your bearded dragon and toxic means poisonous. So these things should never be fed to a bearded dragon. It will make your bearded dragon very ill. And um, in some cases, it will your bearded dragon will die. So avocado is something you should never feed a bearded dragon. Fireflies will kill your bearded dragon. And rhubarb is something that is poisonous to your bearded dragon. So never feed your bearded dragon any of these items. In addition to the toxic food, there's food that's just bad for your bearded dragon and it's not uh, just very good for them. And some of the things here are spinach and lettuce. Now spinach is, spinach is not good because it, um, it stops them from absorbing nutrients. Lettuce is not good because it has no nutrients and it. it's basically just water. Then there's beet tops and fruit, corn, potatoes, any insects that you might find outside shouldn't be fed to your bearded dragon because they could be um, poisonous. Basically, you should only um, feed your bearded dragon uh, th things that you can buy um, in a store, insects that you buy at the store, and um, avoid onions and garlic and mushrooms, eggplant. All those things are not appropriate food for your bearded dragon. Now here's some food that you can feed your bearded dragon, but you don't want to do it all the time. These are kind of occasional foods. Um, things like mealworms. You can see right there in the picture, superworms. Now mealworms and superworms kind of look similar. Um, they look kind of like this picture right here. These are actually super worms, but mealworms look pretty close to that. They're just smaller. Those are um, okay occasionally, but they're not the best thing to give them all the time. Then we have these butterworms here. These butterworms are almost good. They have lots of calcium, which is something that bearded dragons need. But the problem with them is they just have too much fat in them and too much fat for a bearded dragon leads them to have a fatty liver and then they get sick and they die. So you have to watch it. These wax worms here at the bottom, those are just kind of like a human eating cupcakes all day. They're just nothing but fat, so if you have a bearded dragon that's underweight and needs to put on weight fast, then wax worms would be a good choice. Otherwise, they really are something you only want to give them once in a while. Ah, so what do you feed your bearded dragon? What is healthy? Well, here's some things that are healthy for your bearded dragon. Collard greens are great to give your to give your bearded dragon. Every day you can give them collard greens. Every day you can give them mustard greens. Every day you can give them squash. If you see here, these are the, the, the greens right here that you can just get at the supermarket. 
There's squash here. This is an acorn squash. And this is a spaghetti squash. All of the squash is perfect to feed your bearded dragon every day. This is prickly pear, which is great to feed your bearded dragon. You can feed him to them every day. You just have to make sure that it's cleaned off and the 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 thorns aren't still sticking out. Um, and then you just cut cut these veggies up real good. Um, so that they can eat them without choking. So we have other things, turnip greens, rosemary, peppermint, mint, those um, things you can buy in the supermarket, in the produce department. All these things you can feed your bearded dragon every single day without worrying. Here is the healthy food items that are um, bugs. So you can see here we have silkworms. Now silkworms are really hard to find. Silkworms, um, they don't when they're when you when you can find them, it's usually online and they don't they don't. Stay online for long. They sell out really fast. I have never been able to um, purchase a silkworm for my bearded dragons ever since because they were either sold out or um, not available. So those are really difficult to find. Although they are considered the best feeder for a bearded dragon. Then we have phoenix worms. Here's the phoenix worms right here. Now this picture makes them look a lot bigger than they actually are. Actually, phoenix worms are super duper small. They're perfect if you have a baby bearded dragon. They're not so great if you have a full grown bearded dragon because they just either, they're so small that your bearded dragon won't even notice them. And they definitely will not um, fill up your big bearded dragon because they're just too small. So just keep in mind that those are perfect for babies. And um, I have been able to find those, but I had to order them special online. These are the roaches. These roaches here are great you can get them in different sizes. You get them small, medium, or large, and they're perfect. Um, they're a good feeder. They have lots of protein available for your bearded dragon. It's probably um, something you can actually find. On the other hand, they're kind of gross, so, you know, people don't really like to bring those around into their house, but they are really good for your bearded dragon. This one is good too here. This is a hornworm. Now hornworms are very good if you have a bearded dragon that won't drink water and you think it's getting dehydrated because hornworms have lots of moisture in them. You can very easily feed them to your bearded dragon and it will get all the water it needs from hornworms. Crickets, you can get those at any pet store. That's a pretty good feeder. Although I must tell you, the bad part about crickets is that they do carry um, diseases. And so if you feed them to your bearded dragon, you might possibly uh, give your bearded dragon some parasites because crickets kind of carry parasites. So they're really, you know, there's pros and cons with that one. But if I had to um, say which one's the best, um, it would have to be, yes, these very, very gross roaches here. They are the best. Okay, now, as I was saying before, 
you will feed your beardy differently depending on how old they are. So if your bearded dragon is a baby, look, you can see how small this baby is. It fits right into the hand there. He's so small. Well, they will need, as I was saying, they're mostly going to need live food, which means you're going to be buying a lot of bugs and feeding them a lot of bugs. And they really, um, when they're growing like that, do not uh, eat vegetables. They're really um, mostly bug eaters at that time because they're growing so fast that they need the protein to grow. So you should keep that in mind if you are getting a beardy. If you're getting a baby, if you get a bearded dragon at all, you should know that you're going to be handling bugs from time to time and so if you are not liking that then i don't think you should get a bearded dragon but yes babies need lots and lots of bugs that's mostly what you're going to have to feed them while they're growing now adult beardies have the opposite they need less bugs and they need more vegetables and this is what i said before if you're giving them too many bugs at their older age, then then they're going to end up getting that fatty liver I was talking about, and it's just really not good for them. They need more vegetables um, in their diet. So you want to make sure you're feeding them from that vegetable list most of the time and not as many bugs. And you can see the difference in the size. See this beardy is like my beardy right here. See, he's filling up the whole hand and all the way past the arm. These are the size of my beardies and they do need, they need vegetables. All right, so we're gonna feed um, my big boy here. See how he want, likes a hornworm. It's a hornworm, let's see what he does. Come on, eat the hornworm. Hmm. The hornworm. Oh, there it goes. Okay, let's see. That was a hornworm. Now we're going to try a large mealworm. Oh, yep, like that too. Now let's see if he's going to eat this yucky roach here and it's a big one okay here we go here's the roach oh boy that's giving me trouble that's a roach whoop there you go <gasps> wow